Hello to Laravel fans all over the world. This is Pavel Oskarp from LaravelDaily.com blog. I'm back to recording podcasts for Laravel Business Channel. And topic of the day is Laravel security. I've recently got the question on Twitter about Laravel security. Like, do you have any tips or articles on Laravel security? And I want to discuss that in the video format from business point of view. So business people, project owners, clients, they care about not being hacked, basically. That's what security means to them. So from that point of view, there are two levels of security. There is a security of the application, of the website, web project, whatever you call it, application. And then there is a security of a server, a physical server or virtual server, whatever, whatever it is. So let's discuss those things separately. First thing, application security. So if the application is using Laravel as a framework, Laravel is just a framework. So you have to understand that Laravel doesn't it doesn't mean that your app is secure out of the box. Laravel is a tool, and how you use the tool, that then gives the final result. So out of the box, Laravel has a pretty good uh, uh, protection from all uh, common vulnerabilities. From basic ones, uh, from the most uh, popular common ones, there are th three of them basically discussed on the internet. It's SQL injection, it's CSRF, and it's XSS. And Laravel uh, functions uh, allow you to use everything securely. All the data is uh, sanitized where needed, uh, and uh, everything is fine. Uh, unless you're using Laravel with like raw queries and then you're on your own basically. Sorry, I'm getting a little technical, but uh, my point is Laravel gives you security from common vulnerabilities out of the box, but then it depends to a developer uh, how, how he uses that thing and then the final code is uh, developer uh, based, not Laravel based. So you need to hire a developer who knows the stuff. Uh, now, uh, from the second point of view, the security of the server, then it, uh, it doesn't depend on Laravel as well. It's totally up to you what uh, server environment to use, how to make it more secure. So you start from SSL certificate. Uh, currently, SSL certificates and HTTPS thing is so easy to use, especially actually with Laravel. Laravel Forge and Let's Encrypt are integrated together really well. It's free to use, so now there's no reason to not use it unless you're lazy or you don't care that much about security. It's pretty common now to have SSL almost just from the beginning of the project. So that's the first thing, and then you can go to secure your server, like in terms of permissions, who accesses the server, uh, who accesses the database, like uh, you shouldn't give permissions to drop any tables or drop database to the same user uh, that uses the website, uh, then you can add uh, additional security from, uh, from DDoS attacks or have more than one server, then it gets deeper and deeper and it, then it depends on the level of your let's say paranoia or level of uh, of how secure you want to be uh, and what what budget do you have basically uh, yeah so there are two levels of security app security and server security and to sum it all up laravel gives you the tools uh, to be secure but then it depends totally on you how to make it make the final result more secure and on top of that the final thought i would like to add is um, you should have backups all the time from the server, I mean, code base and database backups. Uh, whatever happens, you should have the backup of last day at least. Well, it depends, of course, how much dat data you have. It might be daily, it might be hourly. Uh, there are packages, Laravel has some awesome packages uh, to create backups. Uh, just Google it. Uh, and, uh, I mean, if you have a backup, Whatever happens with the database, uh, you have a backup and you can uh, restore some point in the database pretty easily. Uh, and then, of course, you need to, uh, your developer or you, if you are a developer, need to take care of the uh, middleware, the authentication, all the 
routing, middleware requests, all of that technical stuff that uh, certain people wouldn't access certain data, like admins, admin panel, uh, totally separated from, sorry, from the website and stuff like that. So again, it depends on, uh, on a developer. So that's my question to Laravel Security. I'll add some links in the description of, of the YouTube video. Feel free to comment, to subscribe to the channel, Laravel Business, and let's catch up later on the topic of Laravel World. See ya.